We've got the Kings Barnes Guilds Classic uh, on the back of our successful hosting of the Rico Women's British Open in 2017. And we wanted to create a, an event on as a, a legacy, as a keep the momentum going of women's golf here in the in the East Nook. And we approached the Fife Golf Partnership, Liam Barn, last year to say we've got an idea that we would like to stage an event, maybe in the in the Fife Golf uh, area. But Liam kindly um, pushed us to say maybe we could go national on this, and got us in contact with Scottish Golf. And yes, we've we're fortunate to have. 32 uh, girls from all the uh, different counties here at, at Kings Barns today. So we're, we're really happy that they're, they're getting to experience the, uh, the major championship course that is Kings Barns Golf Links. It feels like yesterday that I was at their stage. I'm obviously it wasn't, I'm, but I can I can remember it all clearly. And I mean the good times and the hard times and what's difficult, what's not. So um, if I can help any of them with a little bit then it's it's good for me. I turned pro in 2008 um, before that I played uh, for Scotland under 16s, 18s, 21 ladies. Um, I play as much as I can tournaments. I also love to teach and try and get more people involved in the game. It's been amazing having Heather here today. The girls have really really enjoyed seeing a role model, somebody that they can see that have come through the programme, that have walked in their shoes and she's been really, really good with them. I think the girls have really enjoyed the interaction with her and hopefully moving forward they'll be able to see that there is a job in, in golf, whether it be through the hospitality side but obviously with Heather being, being a professional um, so they can play at elite level and she can also have a career out of it as well. So it's been really, really good having Heather here today and we're really grateful to her. We as, a, as, a, as an organisation promote the destination, we have the fantastic opportunity to promote Fife, the home of golf, um, to the global golfing audience, whether they be golf consumers or, or tour operators, and just raise awareness of the wonderful product we have here at Kings Barnes, but also other courses round about here in St Andrews and Crail and, and right across the region. The Rico Women's British Open was, was chosen to be held here last year, and that really is, is testament to the fantastic work Alan and Audrey do and, and Art Dunkley, the owner of, of Kings Barnes. We're very, very fortunate to have Kings Barnes here, and it is a phenomenal opportunity for these girls to get out on the golf course and you know walk in the links that their, their heroes walked on you know only only just over a year ago so uh, it'll be a great day for sure the more i'm here the more it's i mean it's one of the best in scotland probably one of the best in the world i think and i played the women's british open last year um, which I loved, so it's, yes, yeah, it's, for them to get the chance to play here, it's, they have to enjoy it, they will have a good day. They all have appreciated where they are and the experience that they're getting today and how well they're getting looked after by, by our friends here at Kings Barnes. I think it's really, really fantastic opportunity for them and hopefully it'll encourage them and inspire them to keep going and get better and, and get to play again. This is a hugely exciting time for Scottish golf. It's, we're on the cusp of change. Women and young people are at the heart of everything that we do. We have a new strategic plan that has got a, one of the main pillars is about increasing women and, and young people's participation. Um, the RNA have just launched the Women and Girls Charter, which we're encouraging all our clubs to sign up to and make a pledge to make their clubs inclusive and to have a, a commitment to make sure that women and young girls particularly are involved in our game in all aspects, whether it's coaching, playing and, um, and job opportunities in the future. Hopefully they make some friends. I mean, they're obviously playing with someone from their own county, but then they have two from another one. And um, I think just meeting other girls that like to do what they like to do um, in different places. I mean, I loved, I, I was exactly the same when you turn up to these things, you're quiet, you're shy, you don't really know anyone. But then as you start to, to play and feel a bit more comfortable and get to know people, um, you then go to other events and you recognise people, you see them and you just, you make friends. As I say, like most of my friends, now are friends that I've made through golf. Some of them still play, some of them don't, but it's um, 
yeah and hopefully also they use their I mean social media is, is huge nowadays hopefully they can share their day and the fun that they're having with other people and hopefully get some more into it as well. Well, we were playing quite well for the whole thing, so I thought we might have had a chance to be up there. It's great to play one of the world's best links courses. It was in really good condition. Um, yeah, it was, it was just a brilliant experience and the course was amazing. 